We have the pleasure to inform our readers that the lifeboat built by Mr Greathead of Sue Shields is now established at Redcar on the Yorkshire coast. It arrived on this station on the 7th inst and was received with great joy by the inhabitants of that place who vied with each other in expressing their gratitude to a benevolent public who so graciously subscribed towards so humane an institution. In the evening, the fishermen were regaled with ale to drink success to the boat and health of the builder, who by this happy invention has added the most valuable treasure to this nation. We are happy to add that the fishermen in the most voluntary and heartfelt manner declared, She should never want hands to mind her when called for. On Redcast Run the small boats stand sheltered from the rain. Now that small boat's no ordinary boat, but a boat of worldwide fame. For she was the first to go to sea with a bold, courageous company. Who asked no payment or a fee, and the Zetland is her name. The Zetland was crewed by 13 men, which was unusual at the time, as fishermen were very superstitious. But the crew consisted of of a coxswain, a steersman, a bowman, and ten oarsmen. The Zetland lifeboat men would have worn virtually the same equipment as they used to go fishing in, which was just uh, ordinary heavy duty clothing. And eventually they would wear cork life jackets like this one. But these didn't come into service until 1854. A young lad would be appointed as drummer boy and he would go around the streets banging his drum and calling, come along brave boys, come along. One of the most memorable rescues of the Zetland was when it attended the brig Jane Erskine, which had previously gone onto rocks just off Redcar and at first was helped by local fishermen who were lightening the cargo to try and refloat the vessel. But weather conditions worsened and the Zetland had to be launched to recover the fishermen and the crew and the Zetland came back to shore with 52 people on board. Ships of long ago, gone boys, gone, that sailed wherever our wind did blow, they've gone, boys, they've gone. Where are those ships we used to know, gone boys, gone, with sails as white as driven snow, they've gone, boys, they've gone. Those ships, those ships, those silent ships, forever and a day they've gone. Now all that's left is the fading wakes and the echoes of the sailors' songs. Where are those ships of yesteryear? Gone, boys, gone. That by the northern star did steer, they've gone, boys, they've gone. Thomas Hood Picknett served on the Zetland and he has had either sons or nephews, great-grandchildren, etc. serving on all the lifeboats in Redcar. Redcar was served by a number of lifeboats after the Zetland, the Burton on Trent, followed by the Brothers, the Fifi and Charles, 
and then the first motor lifeboat, the Louisa Paulden, then the City of Leeds, the Aguilla Wren, and the Sir James Knott. We have the uh, stores in the boathouse today. They make money for different things, some for training, and some for the new, new boats. We decide what we're going to do, you know, what stalls we're going to have, and uh, coffee mornings, and well, quite a few going things. Going out with the buckets. Going out with yeah. the buckets standing in the streets. Yeah. Uh, and usually we'll make quite a bit by the year end. This last year we made 17,000. Well, how many members have we got now? About, about 22 or 25, something like that, yeah. yes, yes. yes. It's marvellous really what, what, price, what money we do get, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we get quite a lot of good yes, sport, really. Yes, we do. I've been on the Red Car Lifeboat for 21 years. I'm a helmsman of the lifeboat and also a station training coordinator. Uh, I'm alongside our D-class lifeboat at the moment. Uh, this is the new lifeboat which has been named only this year. Uh, she does 25 knots speed, carries three people. Uh, we also have our Atlantic uh, lifeboat which also carries three people to an average speed of 32 knots. Uh, as you can see I'm studying some of the new equipment that we have on today. It's a uh, new buoyant life jacket and also the dry suits we have and thermal insulated suits underneath as well. Yeah, the call out procedure that we have uh, nowadays, years ago it used to be maroons and bangers in the street but nowadays we buy a lifeboat pager. The Coast Guard page the crew and which make the way down to the lifeboat station, uh, get the boat ready to sea and off we go. This is an average of seven minutes uh, any time, any time, night or day. The area we cover with these lifeboats, the uh, IB1 covers close in shore from uh, the mouth of the river down towards States and uh, also the Atlantic does the same out to roughly our jobs cover out to about four or five miles. We also work with Hartlepool Lifeboat and also with the States Lifeboat as well. One of my most memorable uh, services was to uh, a lifeguard at Saltburn which had gone out to help a surfer. Uh, we got there and actually the surfer had got ashore but the lifeguard himself was in uh, difficulty in quite heavy seas and we brought the lifeboat inside the breakers and alongside and uh, rescued him from the sea and our D-class ran the casualty ashore to uh, away at Manwood. This film is dedicated to the many generations of lifeboat men who have served this coastline over the years. These lifeboat men still continue to serve our community and their bravery will never be forgotten. But the old salts of Redcar and District yet doubt if the newer boats are equal to this one for many things and shake their heads doubtfully. To them there can never be any other boat like the Zetland and it must be admitted that these fishermen are sailors who ought to know. On Red Coast Run the small boats stand sheltered from the rain. Now that small boat's no ordinary boat, but a boat of worldwide fame. For she was the first to go to sea with a bold, courageous company. Who asked no payment or a fee, and the Zetland is her name. In olden times men sailed the brine in ships for frail and small. They had no charts or couldn't mark a safe course through the squall. So often upon the churning foam on the jagged rocks they were often thrown. With never a hope of reaching home, with never a hope at all. From the Bay of the Tees and down to stairs was a treacherous stretch of sea. Contrary tides and winds so wild made the sailor anxious be. After many a storm on a winter's night by the first few streaks of morning light. A stranded wreck was a common sight, I a common sight to see. But a band of men would have put an end to some victories of the sea. They put a float in eight or boat on standby she would be. She was built as strong as a Persian dow, she was reinforced from stern to prow. 
And they painted Zetland on her bow, and a bold brave crew had she. On wreck a strand a small boat stands, sheltered from the rain. Now that small boat's no ordinary boat, but a boat of worldwide fame. For she was the first to go to sea with a bold, courageous company who rescued men and asked no fee, and the Zetland is her name, and the Zetland is her name.